Welcome back to another video on Macaulay Travels and it is day eight here in Malta. So me and Ray are on our way up to uh, Gozo. We're gonna get the ferry across. Um, we are gonna be stopping in at Molina just to pick up a guy that we met the other day because um, he's gonna come across with us. We're gonna spend maybe one or two days on the island, traveling around a bit and having a see some of the views there. So we're gonna take a drive and go pick him up and then I'll catch you at the ferry. T-shirt, it costs like 50 bucks. Someone must think I'm pretty fly right now. <laughs> maybe I'm going crazy. Can't catch a break lately. Travelling from Malta to Gozo by car ferry is a popular and convenient way to explore both islands. The main operator of the ferry service is the Gozo Channel Company Limited and it is located in Chikawa, located on the northern tip of Malta. Ferries run often, typically every 45 minutes in peak. This service operates up to 24 hours a day and the ferry crossing takes around 25 to 30 minutes. Prices vary based on a vehicle size and passenger count. Just check the Gozo website for current rates. There's both indoor and outdoor seating options available. There's a cafeteria, restrooms, and even free Wi-Fi. They are also equipped to accommodate passengers with reduced mobility. Just arrive around 30 minutes before your departure to ensure smooth boarding, especially during peak times. When I crossed, we just got straight onto the ferry with the car and we paid on the way back to Malta after visiting Gozo. But I'll leave a link for the website for you to find out as much information as you need. And I just wonder what you gotta do, what you gotta do to get a little baby. You look amazing, I said it meant it. And I just wonder what you gotta do, what you gotta do. And we've now arrived at Gozo, so we've parked up and I'm gonna have a little walk around and try and find the entry place for the hotel that we've booked for the night. And then, yeah, we'll show you around if we can check in soon. And this is the room that I booked. Very cute, high ceilings, little TV, lovely bed, the floor in as well. And then come through here, and just like a nice basic bathroom. So yeah. What you gotta do, what you gotta do to get a little So we've now made it to Dwarja. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will write it down in the bottom. We're gonna have a little walk around because we've got some nice cliff edges and stuff around there. And then fly the drone up and I shall catch you soon.
And that is going to be the end of today's video. We went for a little drive around Gozo and went through a few places, got a bikini and some pizza and then chilled by the pool. So I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss a post. So keep exploring the world one footprint at a time. And until next week, adios.